All right. I changed my mind. <laughs> Look, I'm allowed to change my mind, all right? So, I know I said I wasn't going to use any add-ons for this series, but I started to realize, one, I was missing a few, especially to help show certain things and illustrate certain things in the series, but I was also using heirlooms. And I realized, you know what? If I'm using heirlooms, I may as well use not all my add-ons, but just a few. Just a few to help out. So, I went ahead and uh, added Mapster. And this is one of the big reasons why. It lets me be able to actually see the map and just let me see which ones I have not uncovered. Because this way, I'm really able to show you the extent of the Scourge's dead scar. So, let's look at the Ghostlands. This is sort of where they started. A death home. It goes all the way through here to Eversong. All the way through here. Straight through the middle of Silvermoon. All the way to the Isle of Caldanus. Where the Sunwell is. Now, obviously this map is a little different from the way it looked and was shown both in Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 3 Forge. But, you know, you just kind of, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do, right? The point is to show just how incredibly dominant the march of the Scourge through all of Quel'Thalas was. To get the sun well. They just marched through and they could not be stopped. Because that's what the Scourge do. And so yeah, I took a break. My throat's feeling better. I've gotten a few cough drops. So hopefully I'll be able to make it through the rest of this without, um, you know. Fortunately, when we get to other some other starter zones, like uh, when we get to Silver Pine, where we go through, you know, play as our Forsaken, I'll be able to, you know... To almost like an undead forsaken voice. <laughs> yeah, so that might help, it might not. I don't know. The eternal sun guides us. Thank you, Leagenix. I've been expecting this letter. Since you're here, Leagenix, I've a favor to ask you. Laykeeper of Valania's apprentice dropped by earlier to ask for assistance. Apparently, there is some malfunction happening at the West Sanctum. I've been a bit busy entertaining our most pleasant dwarven guest. See if you can give her a hand. You'll find the West Sanctum southwest of here. We will have justice. Hold on a second. Let's see. Can I actually s see this uh, dwarven guest he has? Because this is actually going to come into play a little later. Ignore the fact that he's dead right now. <laughs> other players, right? Hashtag other players. Alright. We'll deal with the dead scar in just a moment. But let's go ahead and make our way now to the West Sanctum. I always love I can do this. Wee! Wee! I'm like, Chauffeur, what are you doing? He's like, oh, sorry, I... I get a little excited when I'm driving around. Wee wee. And I just gotta say, it's a wonderful sight seeing an orc wearing a top hat. I'm sure Total Biscuit would be proud. After all, he was a big horde player, though he was a troll player. He loved the trolls. A new Bellore Delinar. Look around you. Things aren't exactly in order. We have a severe malfunction at the West Sanctum. Let us do our best to prevent matters from getting worse. It's about time that Dimwit Caldanus went someone, sent someone this way. I warned of the dangers of increasing the load on the West Sanctum. Now one of our energy converters is destroyed and arcane wraiths are pouring out of the Sanctum. I'm going to need you to take care of these creatures before we send anyone in for repairs. Make haste. Salama Ashalanore. So now we got the stun. By the way, I forgot to mention that part of the reason why the dead scar thing is a big deal is because they 
kind of terraformed a huge portion of this land to make it look as gorgeous and beautiful as it does. Yeah, a lot of this is because of the amount of terraforming the Blood Elves did here. It's too Got far. some wraiths. Okay. I've got some cleaning to do, it seems. I need to get closer. I'm out of range. Intruder! It's a night elf! A Darnassian scout! The documents contain detailed maps of different strategic buildings in Eversong Woods. A diagram of an arcane sanctum is also sketched in good detail. There seem to be numerous notes in a language that you don't recognize. As these were carried by a Darnassian spy, it might be a good idea to bring them to the captain of the guard, Aelden Adel Sunbrand. So, yeah, this is a pretty uh, indicative revelation that the night elves were basically doing things here that i mean you could consider an basically a declaration of war remember the night elves still look down upon the highborn even though they're now called the blood elves but the highborn back then because well that's what night elves do especially because they were arcane magic users and as we all know that using that is evil in itself I, I don't think I really need to get into this again. I've already made my point on it. <laughs> Just need one more of those mana stalkers. No, not one of those. That's a, not the mana wraith, a mana stalker. Where is it? Come on. Ah, there's one. It's too far away. Alright, so we'll have to go back there to let them know. No, I don't need to kill another one. You can go about your business. Yes. Thank you. Now that we have the wraiths under control, we can send someone in to assess the damage, and hopefully this wasn't anything permanent. Night elves? Here? Those rats! Do you suppose they had anything to do with the malfunction in my sanctum? If you have any information, you'd better take it to Captain Sunbrand at once. Time is of the essence. So, yeah. Like, blatantly sabotaging their sanctum and such. Yeah, like I said, declaration of war. Because the Night Elves, when they are led by someone like Taronda, don't mind being a bunch of warmongers. I'm not talking, of course, about the citizens, but the military and leadership of the Night Elves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. Also, remember, at this time, 
at least in vanilla, they weren't being led by also by Malfurion. He was asleep in the dream trying to deal with the nightmare, basically. As that was actually a, a plot uh, thread in vanilla, believe it or not. No, the other leader other than Tyrande for the Night Elves during vanilla was Fandris Staghelm. Yeah. And as far as I know, he was still around leading them in Burning Crusade. It wasn't until Cataclysm that he really kind of got to the forefront of what he was really about. Anaria Shola. Do you have something for me? Let me take a look. Are you sure that you found these on a night elf? They're clearly written in Dwarven. From what I can understand of this letter, whoever wrote this did not cause the malfunction, but rather was sent here as a spy to observe the results of it. They call our endeavors reckless and dangerous, but who? Of course, that envoy from Ironforge. Oh, we were fools to trust anyone belonging to the Alliance. Listen, the Agenics, this is a very delicate situation. Even though we have identified the spy, we cannot kill him out in the open. We cannot try to capture him either, as the risk of him escaping is far too great. So I want you to go find Prospector Anvil Ward at the North Sanctum and kill him. Do this in a quiet manner. We do not want word to spread that we are that we allowed a spy into our city. Bring me the, his head as proof. Iron Forge will learn not to meddle with the Sindor Eye. Shorel Aran. So of course that's a bit of an assumption on his part in terms of the possible implications that Ironforge was in on the Night Elves on this whole thing. But the fact that it was written in Dwarven, and they have a Dwarven... Well, yeah. It, it's it's pretty... It, it, it's like you can put one and one together, basically. Okay. <laughs> uh... And so we return to what it's like in vanilla. Alright, I'm waiting on queue. This is what it was like when I tried out <laughs> some of the zones, starter zones in Classic. You'd have this line of people just kind of waiting for this thing to respawn. And it's like, alright, you're next. Up next. And sometimes you'd have people group up so they could all get credit for it. And sometimes you just have a bunch of solo players just lined up. Like, alright, what next? Alright, next. Alright, next. But keep in mind, it wasn't that fast when it came to the respawns. The respawns took a while. <laughs> uh. This is the kind of thing that they tried to address and fix as uh, the years have gone on. And I say all the better for it. Because having a line of players standing here waiting for the respawn is not good. So trying to deal with that and fix that and help players avoid situations like that, I say all for the better. Well, the other player left, so I guess I'm next in line. By the way, I forgot to also mention uh, another notable blood elf, and that is basically the father of Kael'thas. I believe his name was Anastarian Sunstrider, and I think he was the one who wielded Felomalorn. In fact, if you... I believe both Quel'Dalar and Fela Malorn were both wielded against the Scourge invasion here in Quel'Thalas. I don't know if Quel Sarar was here. I don't remember. I'd have to look that up. Come on. You see what I mean about the long respawn timers? Look at how long it takes for this guy to respawn. There are other characters right outside. Other players, I mean. Probably doing the other quest before this, but... Ah, do 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 Twiddling your thumbs, checking your phone. 
All these different things that players do when they have to wait for something to respawn so they can actually do the quest and continue their progress. I like the design of this sword. Really cool looking. Look at how big that hilt is. Not a bad looking sword at all. You'll get to see some of the other heirlooms based on what uh, class you are. It's, you know, partly based on what uh, type of armor you wear. Obviously, if you're a plate wearer, this is one of the sets that you can wear. When we get to my orc, who I decided to change up to a warrior uh, to kind of go for that, you know, it's, it's a bit more fitting of the tone of that starter zone. Because as as we were doing the troll starter zone, I was getting I was reminded of the tone of that starter zone for the orcs, especially because of the whole thing in Cataclysm with Garrosh, and so I decided to switch up switch it back up to a warrior. So you get to see I'll throw on the might set for you guys, uh, which is basically the set that Dranosh wore at the Wrathgate, and we'll of course wield the Arcanite Reaper because of course we would. Very fitting for an orc. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Not an orc. This is not Warhammer 40k. But sometimes it's just more fun instead of saying orc to just say orc. <laughs> Those pink skin kids. Nah, hold on. I, I I gotta stop. I gotta hold off on doing that until we get to the orc star zone. My goodness, when is this guy gonna respawn? This is taking forever. My goodness. Just, just gonna sit here. Just wait. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to that later. By the way, Zulaman. And yes, I forgot to mention, you know, when I was talking about how they got from over there with the Night Elves to here. It wasn't just because of the Night Elves. It was also because of the trolls. The Amani trolls. That's why the, the placement of Zulaman right here is kind of a big deal because this was back when the, um, when the trolls, especially in this area, the Amani trolls, basically dominated the planet and it kind of drove the highborn from like this area like up here because that's how strong the trolls were by the way yes that is windrunner village and windrunner spire we'll get there we'll get there later like i said the end of the blood elf star zone has to do with uh sylvanas because remember sylvanas basically tries to pull the whole uh, i'm going to you know, twist your arm in, in order to make you help me out and help out the horde or else, you know. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, he's right here. Wow, I am an idiot. I thought for sure he was going to be up there because that's where I thought that's where the corpse was. I am so sorry for wasting your time. You're probably you were probably yelling at me like he's out there. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. I'm an idiot. What's on your mind? What are you looking at, lass? You you never seen a dwarf before then? <laughs> You'd best be on your way if you don't want any trouble. I just need a moment of your time, sir. Ah, you must be the lass assigned to show me around the Eversong Woods. You took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Oh, uh, very well, off we go. Let's, just, let's not waste one more minute. Why, of course. I, I do have something to show you. It's actually right inside this building, Mr. Anvil Ward. Safe travels. Very well. We Let's see what you have to show me. I am so sorry for wasting <laughs> your time on this video, but it did allow me to have an opportunity to talk about a couple things. 
My apologies. Do, 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 do. Yes, right up here where nobody can see you and there are no any possible eyewitnesses. What matter of trick is this, Blood Elf? If you seek to ambush me, I'll warn you I will not go down quietly. I don't have a target. Gotta cut off his head. Alright, we're good. It's pretty morbid though when you think about it. Bring me his head. Oh gosh, do I? Can I like just I don't know. Do I really have to Alright. Fuck out the loss. For the Sindori. Slice, slice, slice. Oh, 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 there's blood everywhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, just imagine that. Like, you're you're having to do that for this quest and literally, like, cut his head off to bring it to the captain here. Our enemies will fall. Did you take care of the intruder? So, the deed is done. Excellent job. Word has been passed to the Ranger General, and believe me, the dwarves will pay dearly for their treason. You've been of great service to your people today. Now, note he says treason. Remember, the, the Blood Elves at this time are not actually a part of the Horde yet. And remember, they used to be part of the Alliance. But because of Garethos, slash spit, <laughs> I have another task for you. Ranger... Dagolian was sent to Fairbreeze Village to find out more about a wretched attack on a nearby shipyard. He's requested reinforcements, which we cannot yet provide. Seek him out and grant him whatever aid that you can. Fairbreeze Village can be reached by following the road out of Falconwing Square, all the way towards the south. Good luck. The record You're giving me directions? What is this, Morrowind? Ha 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 ha! I'll stop, I'll stop. Just a little joke. No need to get upset, Morrowind lovers. I'm not trying to make fun of. I'm just having a little, a little jest. You'd be surprised how vehemently Morrowind uh, players just will, like, rah, 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 you know. Not all of them, but there are some that just they will act and talk about. Morrowind as if it's the greatest thing ever conceived. And while I'm not going to deny that it's a, uh, it is a good game, Anaria to say it's like, the, talk about like it's the greatest thing ever, right? you're exaggerating a bit. You're wearing, take off those rose-tinted glasses. You there, you must help me. Please, a fellow apprentice and I were attacked by the wretched. In their mad hunger for magic, they took everything that they could get their hands on. Mana crystals, wands, spell books, everything. Melador gave chase after them, and I had, but I had to stay behind and look after what they didn't take. Continue down the road and see if you can f lend him a hand. Hold your head high. Okay. There he is. Well, Melador, any success? Anaria Shola. Uh, they're gone now. Scared the breeches out of them with a well-placed fireball. Unfortunately for me, they threw our precious cargo into the river. Those blasted wretched sure can run fast at the sight of someone who will stand up to them. But let's not worry about that now. I need to find my instructor's elemental grimoire. I'm certain that I saw one of those cowards throw it into the river, but I can't seem to be able to locate it. I could use another set of eyes. I'll throw in a bit of coin if you spot it. All right, sure. The reckoning is at hand. That's right, chauffeur. Drive into the water. Okay. Okay, Loktar. Just pretend... I'd like to imagine that's just one of the peons. Okie dokie. Something to drink? I've always thought I'd done a, I've done a pretty good peon voice. Work, work. I'll go back to him in just a moment. Let me just go over here and unlock this flight location. And then we'll come back here in just a moment.
Well, I suppose we could also head back and take care of this quest as well. Since we're kind of starting to move out from here to out here. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus it'll give us an opportunity to head to that area as well. So yeah, I found the grimoire, but it was underwater. So well, yeah. Our enemies will. No fall. luck. No, I found it. Oh, the book is completely soaked. The instructor Anathal's not going to like this at all. Here, take this money. I have an idea. Anathal's going to fly off his rocker when he finds out that this book is ruined. But I have a little proposal for you. Don't worry, I will make it worth your while. Take this book to him and tell him nothing of this incident. If he asks, just tell him that you dropped the book into a puddle. He has no direct authority over you, so there's not much that he can do. Anathal delivers his lectures at Steel Whisper Pond, southeast of Silvermoon. You'll do this for us, right? I'll reward you handsomely for this favor. Salama Ashalanore! Taking the fall. I suppose, on our way there, we'll go ahead and uh, start clearing up the dead cigar. Though that's... That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of uh, asking almost the impossible. You know what I just noticed with the music that's playing here? It sounds very similar to music we're going to be hearing later. In fact, I have the toy where I could actually play it for you right now. But I'll save that for the end of the starter zone because it's a it's a, it's a very target something first. It is true that it does involve Sylvanas, and I have let it be known very much how much I hate Sylvanas. However, I need to get closer. The song that is part of that trailer from long ago that is performed. I'm out the implication of that Sylvanas herself is singing it. It is a beautiful song. I will openly admit that. But can you just imagine what it must be like for some of the Blood Elves to walk out and see all of this as a cruel reminder of that dark day that the Scourge came here and killed so, so many of their people. It's one of the reasons why when I did the uh, Heritage Armor questline for the Blood Elves, that I'm very fond of it because it's it's not hard for me to feel for the blood elves and their people after what happened here with the scourge. We will persevere. We don't anticipate the scourge letting up on their attacks anytime soon, but we do still appreciate any help that we get guarding the scar. Be ready for anything. So fortunately, we are, you know, Silver Moon is right here. So if you are, this is a great uh, placement for this, where if you are in need of certain things, you can literally just walk out and head on over here because this area is not going to have that many things available to you. But here at Sil Silver Moon City, you will have a lot more things available, like profession stuff. There's a flight master here. The quarter master for Silver Moon is here. So if you want to start working on upping your rep with Silver Moon City, because of course, why would you not want to be exalted with your faction's main, um, well, you know, your character's main faction. You know, if you're playing a Blood Elf, of course you want your rep with Silver Moon to be high. So this will allow you to get the Tabard to get rep when you go into dungeons, which if you're leveling a character, 
uh, having that is a great way to get to Exalted really fast. Of course, the more rep you get, you'll be able to get more access to other things like the satchel, being able to get the these things here. I should come back and get these with my other character because apparently I had never collected them and I should. Hold your head high. But here's the flight master so that State way you can business. be able to, you know, if you want to go somewhere else, you know. We will Obviously you can't justice. go to Undercity right now, but that will be something we'll be able to do later. I'll head into Silver Moon in just a bit off camera because there are a couple things I want to go check out or grab. How, although I don't have any money, so I doubt I'll actually be able to do anything due to the lack of funds. And this is on a brand new server where I don't have another character where I could actually mail. Because you can do this. If you make a new character on a server where you already have some high level characters and they have lots of gold, you can mail some gold to one of these brand new characters. So like for example, if I made a, this character on my main horde server, I could have one of my uh, other horde characters mail like like a hundred gold to one of this to this character and then this character will have a bit of extra finances to start off with being able to you know purchase things with, with vendors so we'll be able to now hit Glory level 10 and i'll be able to show you what happens when you hit level 10 in this game you say that these two incompetent fools bribed you to lie to me you've done very well in coming to me so i love that our character by the way, I find this hilarious. We have a, a player who's playing a Blood Elf who's named Alliance Fan. <laughs> I find that very funny. But the implication here is that our character wasn't willing to go along with this. Our character was like, no, I'm not going to lie for you. I'm not going to take a bribe. I'm going to be completely honest with this person. We just told this guy the truth of what happened and ratted those two out and told him, yeah, these two were trying to base... Well, that one... Uh, apprentice was trying to bribe me so that uh, the other one would take the fall basically so uh yeah they're both uh they both tried to pull one on you i hope you learn a valuable lesson today never trust someone else to lie for you now i want you to go back to my two dim-witted students and discipline them using this wand my magic tells me that you will find them along the road to the west on the other side of the dead scar. Come back to me after you have done this, and I will give you a small reward for your troubles. Use the disciplinary rod, uh, and then return. And we'll be able to get another bag. Keep so definitely motivation to do this quest. Since I only have two bags. But yeah, this event, just to reiterate this, this event of the Dead Scar and the Scourge invading Quel'Thalas, think about how to this day, even in BFA, the ramifications of that day and what it had. I mean, for goodness sakes, it's what caused Sylvanas to be what she is today. Getting killed and being brought back as a banshee by Death Knight Arthas. Which has ramifications to this day, unfortunately. Glory to the Sindori. What? Oh no, not this again! Yep. <laughs> so this is not the first time they've been disciplined by getting turned into... Well, I guess... Either a pig or something else similar. So it looks like another player is doing this. So yeah, it's kind of getting spoiled by the fact that he's already that. But fortunately it wears off pretty quick to the point where I can uh, do this myself. You can't do this to me! We had a deal! Yeah, that's what you get, pal. Alright, so I am going to go to the Flight Master here and fly back and turn that in. So we're almost, we're just barely at level 10. Look at that. We are 15 XP points away from turning level 10. A new Bellore della Na. 
Farewell. So yeah, this is a, uh, a dragon hawk. You can have this as a pet if you make a hunter. If you're, you know, for those of you who are curious, well, what's the Blood Elf mount? It's basically what you saw that other player running around on, the Hawk Strider. I can even uh, show you here. So, I finally got the Swift White one from uh, Kael'thas, because of course I did. Oh, uh, great, screen freeze. <laughs> Another screen freeze. Give it a second. All right, there we go. So then there are the other ones here. These are basically the mounts you can get here. You can even see it says the Eversong Woods. You, you can even get the, you know, the Red Dragon Hawk, but you have to collect a bunch of mounts in order to get that as a mount. So yeah, there's a number of different Hawk Striders if you want to use these as your mounts as a Blood Elf. Uh, although I'll say once you get this, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, because well, after the amount of time I spent getting that, you're going to want to... Uh, embrace using that so to speak <laughs> because they're like look i worked i i spent a whole bunch of time trying to get this mount i'm gonna use it the dark times will pass excellent job don't worry they're not stuck in that form permanently their apprenticeship however will not be restored until they earn it back Remember the sun well. Templar's verdict. All right, so now we have reached level 10. So specializations get unlocked. Uh, battlegrounds get unlocked if you want to do that. You can see here. Uh, so then you get access to the three different specs, which of course is for the Paladin is Retribution, which is the DPS spec, Prot, which is the tank spec, and Holy, which is the healer spec. We're going to be sticking with Retribution for this run, though. I could do Prot, but there's really not much need to, so. We don't have access to Talents yet. That will be unlocked when we get to level 15, so. All right, so now that extra bag has been added, so we have four more slots here. Looking very nice, and we will continue when we return. I'm going to just pay a visit into Silvermoon City in the meantime, and then we'll continue. Stay tuned. <laughs> 